Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Trip to the historic 3,000-year-old Shamiram Canal. 12 June as the commemoration day of Mount Melkonyan. Snow on Mount Ararat is melting. Turkey has been criticized in a report on religious freedom. The Chess Federation is organizing an online tournament dedicated to the Grand Bedrosyan. Ahdamet municipality of one to open the historic Shamiram Canal to international tourism has been presented in Western Armenia. The journey into history begins with the Mania Canal, which the Wertians built 3,000 years ago to meet the region's irrigation water needs. The canal is one of the masterpieces of Western Armenia and world water construction. It is 51 kilometers long. In the framework of the Wertu Development Corridor Program, which aims to provide a vision of Ahdamet for the outside world, plans a large investment in the field of tourism. It is planned to carry out work such as construction of sidewalks, residences, bicycle lanes, camp areas, and landscape gardening. 12 June is the commemoration day of Monte Melkonyan, Armenian's national hero, hero of Artsakh, active participant of Artsakh War, commander lieutenant colonel of Armenian army, and an active participant of the Lebanon Civil War. Monte Melkonyan was born on November 25, 1957, in Visalia, California, in an Armenian family who survived the genocide against Armenians. At the age of 20, he studied at the Berkeley University in California and graduated with a double title. While studying at the university, he established the Armenian Student Union. In 1978, he entered Oxford University but did not finish, went to Lebanon during the Civil War and took part in the defensive battle of Armenian quarter of Beirut. He was the leader of an offshoot of Armenian secret army for the liberation of Armenia in the 1980s and the most celebrated commander during Artsakh war in the early 1990s. He was arrested in Paris in November 1985 and sentenced to six years in prison for possession of falsified papers and carrying an illegal handgun. On February 4, 1992, Melkonyan arrived in Martone as the regional commander. Upon his arrival, the changes were immediately felt. Civilians started feeling more secure as other armies were pushed back and were finding it increasingly difficult to shell Martunis residential areas. The Monte Melkonian Foundation was established in Yerevan in 1994. Monte Melkonian Military College was named after him. His monument is located in Martuni. Monte was killed in the abandoned Azerbaijani village of Merzili in the early afternoon of 12 June 1993 during the Battle of Akdam. He was buried at Yerabulur Cemetery in Yerevan. The snow on Mount Ararat, the highest mountain of Western Armenia, began to melt as the weather warned. The snow on Mount melts with the arrival of summer and the melted snow becomes a water for the people living near the mountain and engaged in cattle breeding. It is worth mentioning that the best time to climb Mount Ararat is August, as the snow melts at this time of year. The U.S. State Department has released an international report on religious freedom for 2019. The report section on Turkey states that the rights of non-Muslims are being violated in that country and various separate examples have been cited. In particular, there was talk on increasing anti-Semitism, not giving legal status for Alevi places of worship, the initiatives to deprive the Hagia Sophia Cathedral of its status and turn it into a mosque to interfere in the elections of Armenian Patriarch of Constantinople and other topics. The report also mentions that during a live broadcast of a religious program in Turkey, the presenter converted an Armenian Christian boy named Arthur without the consent of his parents. This incident was considered an obvious violation of the Lausanne Treaty. On June 17, the Chess Federation of Armenia is organizing an online tournament dedicated to the Grand Petrosian's birthday. Chess players under the age of 18 can take part in the tournament regardless of their rating. The tournament will be held for 3 minutes plus 1 second with 9 rounds. The winner of the tournament will be awarded with the Grand Petrosian gold medal and the second and third prize winners will be awarded with the Grand Petrosian silver commemorative medals. The fourth and fifth place chess players will receive prizes. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Nobody Ensemble. Oh, 
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.